Do you sometimes scroll on Instagram and you wonder how some of the accounts that you follow are able to keep all their branding so consistent throughout all their social media platforms, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or their website? Well, in today's video, I want to show you how I use Canva to create beautiful reels and Instagram posts, but you can do that with anything, even your YouTube covers, to keep all your branding super consistent. Hey, I'm Chris of KVM Design, an online firm that supports interior designers throughout the world with their workloads. By delegating to us, these designers can feel more joy and creativity designing. They keep doing what they do best and they delegate the rest. They feel happier and also have the time and the money freedom to create the lifestyle that they dream of. So before I show you how I use Canva to keep everything super consistent on all my social media platforms, I just want to go back to something very important. One of the reasons why you find it so hard to keep your branding consistent throughout is maybe that your branding is not that strong. Maybe you did your logo yourself a few years ago and you're not too sure what your brand identity is, uh, which is going to be very difficult for you um, to create something consistent because you just don't have the elements ready. You may know that already, but KVM Design has a branding service. Uh, we help our clients show up you know, on all social media platforms in a way that they can feel more professional. Why is it so important to have a strong brand identity? You don't need to be a brand like Coca-Cola or Nike to have a strong brand identity. In fact, even if you're a small business, it's very important um, that you have a brand identity that people can start recognizing everywhere. I'm just going to outline here five reasons why having a strong brand identity is essential for your business. Number one, having a strong brand identity will set you apart. It will attract people with the same values and people who can relate to your brand. Number two, first impressions, as you know, are really important. You can either get people excited about your branding when they come to your page and they really like the way that your page looks, they really like your logo, your brand color, and your brand identity in general. It can either make them very excited or make them want to run away. And to be honest, since you're in the creative business um, as an interior designer, it's very important that your brand reflects your ideal client and yourself, obviously. Um, but it's very important yeah, that your brand comes across very nicely because you're creative. So if your brand doesn't look really nice, you don't really know who your target audience is, then it's going to be very difficult for you um, to attract the right people. Number three, consistency will increase brand awareness. Uh, well, a lack of it will confuse people in general and it, it's going to make it easy for everybody to forget about you. Number four, I know it's just branding, but branding builds trust. If you have an inconsistent branding or you just have key elements missing, it won't come across as a professional and credible business. And number five, even though you should not redesign your branding every year, once in a while, it might be a good opportunity for you to have a little makeover. I uh, had an example, for example, of a client who has been in the business for 20 years. And after 20 years, she decided to get a branding makeover because the branding didn't represent who she was anymore. It didn't represent her values or the clients that she was serving. And it just looked very tired and old. So she got a makeover after 20 years. You don't need to wait that long. I did my branding myself when I got started. I wasn't happy about it. When I initially started, I wasn't sure who I was serving. And as I gained knowledge about that, you know, after two, three years, I decided to rebrand to match not only who I was, but also match my ideal client because I wanted to attract the right crowd, basically. Whether it's on Instagram, YouTube, or your website, your branding should be, should be very consistent throughout so that people start recognizing you everywhere they go. You know, just by looking on your Instagram, they can say, oh my God, yeah, it's Chris. I can recognize her brand colors, the fonts, the logo, all of it is there. And there is, it's consistent throughout. Like she has so, social media templates that she's using and it's, it, it flows. So this is what we want to get to. Hey guys, so we're now on the computer. Um, I just wanted to show you quickly, for example, my YouTube channel, it looks super consistent, same font, same colors. Uh, so you can definitely tell that it's my brand, super consistent throughout. The Instagram is the same. Okay, super consistent throughout. You can tell that the color is kind of always the same. 
Um, so this is what I mean when I say, you know, it has to be consistent. It's my fonts. I, I always use my brand fonts. This is the brand kit. You see, that's the Mimi logo, alternative logos, color palettes, typo, um, and all that. My pack was a little bit smaller. I didn't want the social media templates or anything, but when you guys do the kit with us, you get a lot more things. I might show you that um, at the end so that you can see what is included in the pack. When you go, for example, in Canva, um, so for the YouTube covers, for example, let's start with the YouTube covers. If you have a YouTube channel, um, I'm not sure if the YouTube channel cover, I think this is just for the channel. But I, you can also create a design custom size and the size that I um, set it at is 1280 by 720 pixels. So you can just take this size, okay? And then in Canva, you're obviously gonna add all your logos on here. This is my brand kit, so you can edit it. This is how you add colors. So you just put the code of the colors and you don't have to look for them every time. Once you have that, they're going to be in all your projects on Canva, which means it's going to be super easy for you to select the color that you want from your kit. Uh, you can also upload a font. So those are the fonts that you will be using um, for all your projects as well. So these are my three main fonts. And yes, the logos as well. So once we have all of that, we can go Okay, this, the font, like the, the background of my cover is always the same color. It's the one from my brand kit. So I always choose this one, as you can see it here. And then my fonts, same thing, all my fonts are appear here, KVM design brand, and you have the fonts here. So it makes it very easy for you to be consistent. If you have those elements on hand, you already have fonts that you use all the time. You have colors that you use all the time. You have logos then there is no way that your brand won't be consistent. So everything that you do should be with these elements in mind. And then it's very easy to create whatever you want on social media, um, on Canva for social media. This is my real template uh, page. It has all my covers for the reels. And as you can see, again, very consistent throughout. This is what you're gonna be doing if you if you wanted to create a reel, because this is the question that come up for me um, quite a lot of the time is how do you add your fonts on your reels? Well, you can choose any of those. There's probably not, I'm just gonna pick a random one. You can change your videos here. So th this won't be very difficult. You need to obviously do your content, whether it's videos or it's uh, photos, and then you can just use the templates in Canva to create your reel. But then if you wanted to create a text, okay, um, all right. This is what I would do. You just build your reel on uh, Canva and then you can add your own fonts and your, your colors and your logo on the reel. Same thing for the reel cover and same thing for the YouTube video. Like even in the, in the text, you can see that you can edit um, your brand kit. So please make sure that you're consistent throughout. If you don't have a strong, a strong brand identity, it's going to be very difficult for clients and prospects to, to recognize your brand. And you're going to look so much more professional and credible if you have a strong brand identity. If you do not have one, make sure that you go to the link down below to look at everything that's included in our brand kit. I will actually show you now what brand kits that we've done for clients include so that you have a reference. This is an example of a kit that we issued to this client. This, this is the final kit we did for this client. This is the general PDF. It shows her her brand kit for 2022. So you have the main logo, logo stamp, name logo, all the color palettes, the typography, uh, graphic elements, social media, so this is actually showing you how you can build a consistent brand on social media. It looks super nice. Email signature, business card. She has different folders for different things. She has the backgrounds, um, business cards. Here you go. Uh, email signature, graphic element, logo stamp one, two, main logo, name logo, social media templates as well. So you have templates for social media. You have the profile picture 
and the, for the highlights as well. And the typo is all here with all the fonts that she needs to download. If you want more information about this brand kit, head over to our website. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe and, and also comment and tell me what videos you need from me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.